look, I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not trying to make anyone angry. Look, there are issues that I deal with now. So why in the world would I want more issues? Why? <laughs> so I am not trying to make you mad. I am not trying to offend you. I do these videos out of love or in love, if that makes any sense. <laughs> in love, <laughs> not out of love, but in love. <laughs> Anyways, some people may say once they get rid of their sins, they are going to come to God afterward. But who is to say that you have that much time? So many people believe that they have until they are 60 or 50 or 80 to change. Who, who is to say that you have that time to change? We don't know when we are going to die. I don't know when I am going to die. Listen, how many years have you been saying this to yourself? Once you change, then you are going to come to God. How many years have you been saying that? So many. Have anything changed yet? Not really. So why do you believe that you can continue on this route and believe that things are going to change? Why do you believe that you can hold your hands over your eyes and believe that you are going to see the light while you are keeping your hands over your eyes? That makes no sense. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> I know I have my hands over my eyes, but hey, one day I am going to see the light. How can you? With your hands over your eyes, how can you see the light with your hands over your eyes? You are going to be blind. You are walking in darkness, believing that you are going to see the light while keeping your sight blind or dark. I pray that makes sense to you. You have your hands over your eyes, but you believe that you are going to see the light with your hands over your eyes. What am I trying to say to you? Come to God. So God, the Holy Spirit, can direct you down the path that you need to go. Look, man, when you are in sin, you don't completely see yourself. When you are in sin, you don't completely see yourself. So you believe that you have this sin here and that sin there, and that's it. No, there is so much more that you have to change. You can't see yourself because you still have your hands over your eyes. How can you see yourself? I can't see myself while my hands are over my eyes. Look, I can't see myself. <laughs> but once my hands are off my eyes, I can see myself. So, it is going to take the Holy Spirit to release your hands off your eyes. Because obviously, you are not doing it now. This is why you need to come to God so the Holy Spirit can help you. You are trying to do something that you can't do alone. 
I pray that makes sense to you. You are trying to do something that you can't do alone. It is going to take the Holy Spirit to help you. Even for myself, I have sacrificed so much, so much, so, so, so much, man. Even till this day, I am finding out, the more I seek God and stuff like that, I am finding out that there are more things that I have to improve in. You would think that after giving up so many things, after changing my personality and having love and patience for people and compassion and empathy and stuff like that, there is so much more that I have to change. Who would have thought? <laughs> Because you can always improve in love. You can always improve in patience. You can always improve in other things. And that is what I have to do. There are things that we all have to give up still. So when you are living for God, you are constantly changing, but yet you believe that you can change on your own when it takes the help of the Holy Spirit to change you. How crazy, <sighs> my Lord, come to God. You can't do it alone. It is impossible. It is impossible. Come to God now. I pray that this makes sense. You are trying to do something where you can't do. For instance, are you able to pick up something that is 8,000 pounds, but what you are doing each day you are trying to lift something that is 8,000 pounds. No matter how many years pass, no matter how impossible it is, you are trying to lift something that is 8,000 pounds. People who serves God is saying to you, hey, that is 8,000 pounds there. <laughs> You are going to need extra help to lift that weight up. You are wrong. I can do it myself. But you are going to hurt yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> I can do it. You are trying to do something that you are not made to do. This is why we have the Holy Spirit to help us to change more. But you are trying to change things in your own power when you have no power without God. So you are trying to do things in your own power, which is not going to work because we really don't have any power without God. So this foolishness let me get rid of my sins first. You can't do it. The only way I get rid of my sins because I came to God. <laughs> so it is the Holy Spirit that helped me to get rid of my sins. Not doing things within my own power because I cried to God many times to help me because I told him I can't do it alone because I tried that and it doesn't work. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. You are trying to do something that you are not made to do. If we could change ourselves within our own power, why bring, why did Jesus Christ 
Why is the Holy Spirit here now? If we can do it all by ourselves. So come to God now, ask for his help. Yes, you are going to make many mistakes, yes. Yes. But you are going to get better. Well, I just feel bad when I fall into sin. So your answer to that is to stay in sin and feel worse? <laughs> You feel bad when you fall into sin. Okay. So the answer to that is to stay in sin and die and go to hell because you feel bad when you do sin. Man. I pray that this makes sense. You are in darkness. This is why you can't think properly. You won't start thinking rightly until you connect yourself with God. Because right now, you are losing or you are using the logic of demons, of demons. You are using the logic of demons. This is why you are saying the crazy things that makes no sense right now. This is why you are saying those things because demons have great influence over you now. You can come to God once you get rid of these sins while those demons are pumping you to sin. So you are listening to a demon in the first place telling you to wait while they are influencing you to sin. Come to God now. Come to God now. Only through him you are able to change. You can't change by yourself. You are trying to use earthly logic with things of God. And I have said this many times. You can't use the logic of this world with things of God. So put away the foolish logic of this world and connect yourself with God. Only then you can think straight. Man, let me stop here. God bless.